Introducing first in the corner to my right, from Trenton, New Jersey, weighing in at 205 pounds, the Obro, Owen Brody. At 280 pounds, the dweller of the depths, Dylan Nix. It's put up or shut up time here tonight for the dweller of the depths, Dylan Nix. A product of the Limitless Wrestling Dojo and for the first time this season, finding himself in singles action here on the road. No Connor Hex with him tonight, not even by his side. Conspicuous with his absence if you ask me. But I'd understand the frustration. Dylan Nix interjecting himself in Hex's match last week, potentially costing it a huge upset victory against Maine's mutant Mastodon Eric Johnson. And now Nix finding himself at an experienced disadvantage as he typically does. An old rookie going one on one with the O Bro Owen Brody, one third of the syndicate, along with Murdoch and B.A. Tatum. Time shoulder tackle connected. Dropping Owen Brody to the canvas. Leap frog from the Obra. Look for the hip toss, but Dylan Nix able to put it in park and take him overhead instead. And the Obro needs a second. Regaining his composure on the outside. I don't think he expected such a start from the dweller of the depths, the master of the Aquila, Dylan Nix. We saw that thing in action last week, nearly putting Eric Johnson to sleep. And he's back in the hard way. Dylan Nix putting the ring to good use, propelling Owen Brody over the top rope. And sends him hard into the corner. Follows it up with a charging splash. Brody crumbles to the canvas. And our first cover of the contest, the two count there from referee Eric Greenleaf and Dylan Nix, looking to stay right on the attack. Quickly hooking the left arm of Owen Brody, trying to keep him grounded. As Brody slowly but surely makes his way up to his feet, only to be locked in a side headlock once again. Dylan Nix quick on the draw today here with Brody. Ooh, and that's gonna take the air out of you. Oh, and a drop toe hold. Dropping Nix down to the canvas. Brody finally takes him off his feet and quickly restricting the airway. The dweller of the depth is trying to twist out of this. But Brody keeping it locked. Oh, come on now. Slaps landing to the back of the head. Just blatant disrespect to Dylan Nix in this singles encounter. And this isn't the dude you want to take lightly. Huge shot connecting to the jaw. And caving in the chest of Owen Brody. Forearm crashing down on the sternum. Shoots him off the ropes into a clothesline. And now Nix is the one putting Brody in an uncomfortable position. The tables have turned as he's driving the knee in the top of the spine, tearing back on the head. And now hooking the arm for good measure. Just tying up the O bro any chance he can. Brody trying to twist himself up. Fires off a big forearm. Make it two. Nix reversing the whip. Oh, good gravy. The strength on this dude. Just propelling Owen Brody overhead. Dropping him on the spot. He just had his knee pressed into it. And Brody once again needs a second on the floor. Trying to regain his bearings. And he just caught Dylan Nix with a straight shot to the jaw. Oh, and that looked like a close fist. Just out of the view of the referee. Nailing a neck breaker center of the ring. Only two right there from referee Eric Greenlee. 
That's where the inexperience comes into play. Dylan Nix brought him in the hard way earlier tonight. Owen Brody, though, not falling for it twice. Snapmare center of the ring. Whoa, drop kick right there from Brody. Connecting right to the mush. Only two right there. Owen Brody certainly not happy with the referees officiating thus far. I think he believed he had an easier night ahead of him. Smooth sailing potential with the dweller of the depths, Dylan Nixon, his road debut. But that's certainly not proving to be the case. This is the same dude who nearly choked out Eric Johnson last week, who took Danger Kid to his absolute limit on season one. And hell, the dude who defeated Baby Girl next step on season one. Close line connecting in the corner, dropping Owen Brody right where he stood. And now rips him out to the canvas once again. Cover. Two count right there from referee Eric Greenlee. And now the crawl is on from the Obra. Trying to get as far away as humanly possible inside the ring from the dweller of the depths, Dylan Nix. Two straight boots to the midsection. And once again, catching him in the bread basket. And that's the experience on display of Owen Brody. Goading Dylan Nix into the far corner, getting a chance to rest. And now capitalizing. Close line in the corner. Drops Nix to the canvas. Off the second rope with an elbow drop. Cover. Only two once again. Owen Brody's first win in the series just a half second away. But the resilience of Dylan Nix continues to be on display. Snapmare there from Brody. And now driving his knee into the spine. A little payback from earlier. Turnabout's fair play, I suppose. Dylan Nix in a tough position here. Over an arm's length away from the bottom rope. He can't reach it. He needs to twist up. He needs to get to his feet. Trying to break the grip with elbows. Nearly breaks free, but gets ripped back down to the canvas. Still only two, though. Dylan Nix continues to swim through these deep waters, but how much more can he take here in singles action? A club across the spine and Brody, advancing to the second rope, has something dastardly in mind. Swinging vertical suplex from Brody, and he's not done. Keeping his grip, twisting Dylan Nix back to his feet. Drills him overhead. It's still only a two count. Owen oh, Brody can't believe it. Pulling out his best offense here tonight against the dweller of the Dev still and Nix. But nothing has done the trick. Nothing has secured his first victory. Bats away the clothesline. And he's got the Aquila. His version of the cut to Hajime. Owen oh, Brody trying to find his way out and he does. Drilling him into the corner. But turning him inside out with that clothesline. Cover. Only two still. Dylan next just about propelling him to another galaxy. Spiraling Owen Brody to the canvas with that clothesline. And not going to wait around. Once again, grabbing hold of the Aqualock. Can he cinch this thing in? Brody reaching for the ropes. I don't think he can get there. Step by step to the corner. Propels backwards. Shoulders down. And that's three. It's all about survival and Owen Brody able to survive here tonight. Even when being locked in the aqua lock. Finding a way out to win. We'll be right back.